Hello, YouTube. So, uh, we are on our way into the city again because we are going to Soda Nation and the new store. So, grand opening today. Uh, yeah. Yes? Uh. Let's go. Alright guys, so we're outside Soda Nation and the new one. The new the new pair and Silvio. Say hello to Silvio guys. Hello. The new the new face on the channel. So he's gonna be with us a little bit maybe for some challenges. Testing. Yes, testing soda. But yeah, I'm testing soda, yeah. Everyone likes sodas, right? I think these guys like sodas as well. Do you like sodas? Yes. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's go in. So this is this is David. David. Så vi svenska eller engelska? Vi kör vi kör på engelska. So guys, this is David, and uh, you are the founder of. Uh, yes, yes I am. So we began three years ago. Yeah. And we have two stores now. One is now an office, more like, and uh, this is more the main store. Yeah. And we'll have a. Uh, we began uh, maybe a week ago renovating this and uh, now it's almost done we have some couple of fridges coming in we will have slushy machine we'll have a draft soda machine um, but now we have uh, the store up so you can buy all kinds of stuff and we have a new uh, uh, wholesaler from New York so we buy yeah pri primarily from uh, New York we buy yeah. Manhattan. Uh, oh, and then we buy a lot from, uh, we'll buy from maybe from uh, Germany and some other places as well, as well. Maybe also Turkey and Japan. Oh, so he's coming as well or? This oh. is in uh, maybe one year, uh, like a one year. Oh, okay. Uh, time schedule that we will have more Japanese stuff and oh, cool. Turkish and all. But we'll focus also on many on our own brand. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have our own brand, our own syrups and the drafts, that's what So you have your own brand, uh, it's like there, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, I heard that you're like, uh, it's coming new flavors? Yeah, we'll have uh, around 20 new flavors, so we, for hopefully we'll have them, uh, uh, some, some of them out maybe after summer, we'll have two or three, maybe in a couple of, in the next two weeks I think cool then I will come here and try yes. them out yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh, guys you know uh, I really like, like this place and I also like uh, uh, open-minded people yes. like, like like this guy uh, I really like the creativity and uh, and the sodas as well. Yes. And my favorite soda is uh, cola, Jaritos Cola. Oh, yeah. For the moment, I haven't tried oh, uh, because then I will get a sugar, sugar kick or something like that. Yeah. Uh, you should really try the Puma Cola. The Puma Cola. Yeah, uh, Puma Cola. Yeah. Which one is that? It's fire brewed and with cane sugar from. It's actually a guy who. Oh, brewed, that one. The guy who makes it is the guy who made it. Just was the chief brewer of Joseph James Brewery in uh, in, U oh, in the U.S. So what? And he started his own brewery in back in the 80s, making beer and sodas. Okay. So he started fine brewing colas. So uh, what? What's uh, what's special about uh, Puma Cola? I think he makes as, like he makes them in a small batch, and yeah. also he makes them with a lot of uh, spices. It's very artisanal and it's very f a lot of flavor. Okay. If you, if you compare it to to like an ordinary cola, and Slide. it's a beautiful bottle also. Yeah, I, li I like that. They're like yeah. uh, quite different. Yeah. And I, I first I thought like is this a, uh, like a German name? Yeah, uh, Sprecher. I mean, Sprecher in, 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 uh, in the in the Midwest you have a lot of Germans. So ah, you okay. have a lot of Pennsylvania in in the Mich I mean, all across in Wisconsin you have a lot of Germans, Polish people. So I I think it has to do with like the, the area mostly. Like it's very very German. Okay. And some Polish. So it's all right. Very very. Classical. So then, do you have a cold one of these ones or? I only have the blueberry actually. I've, I've tried the blueberry. I liked it. Oh yeah. 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 I like, and also there are some, I got some uh, this weekend when I yeah, was yeah. here. 
like 11 bottles or <laughs> but then I can go on vacation exactly yeah yeah, yeah. but uh, here we have a lot of other stuff this you should try it's like a cola but it's with coriander juniper and uh, a lot of spices and All chili. Right. It's very special. Oh. It's very special. And the grocery is one of the biggest now upcoming sandwich restaurants in New York. So they started making their own sodas. That Celery. one I tried. Yeah. I thought that one was better than a cucumber one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really peppery. And yeah. It's really spicy. Really, really refreshing. And it's really good actually to mix with if you want to use mezcal uh, or gin. These oh. two are, from All right. are very good with it. And you can actually use this, this uh, straight up as it is. It's really refreshing. Uh, I mean, I don't know about the club soda. I sorry, club sea salt. I mostly thought it was a beautiful bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I bought it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's one of the, the much of the retail here is muchly. Uh, mostly, it's mu more experience based. You have all of the retail in the world is going more and more to. To what's called experience-based retail, yeah. and you have the bistro and retail. Is there is more and more of a gray zone between restaurants and store. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is to actually every square inch of your your store needs to be as much of experience as possible. And what that could be, you could you could do that with, with the brand building. Somebody do so some people do it with a lot of. You know, famous famous brands, but also to to enhance uh, you know funny articles. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah you for go sure, to you yeah. go to a store like TGR or s normal or stores like that. Mm -hmm. you, you, it's only experience based. But then there is another dimension where you have uh, something like um, here where we can have. Uh, uh, I mean, we can have. Uh, Evenings, we invite people to talk about drinks. We oh. want to have a lot of books here, also about drinks. That's and cool. Yeah. So, uh, like the whole spectrum of like, also to create your own soda. That's what we want to do in the future, okay. like in the near future. So we can have like a real, yeah, experience when you come in. You can buy some soda, to take with you, and have a cup of draft sodas. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. I like yeah. that idea. Yeah. And yeah. So you, you have the whole, and I actually read a lot of. Uh, Articles about how the retail is going just this way, and also the alcohol free is growing. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah have for sure. Yeah, two, two things of fermentation, also fermentation. People talk about ferment, fermenting, yeah, yeah, yeah. so ginger beer, uh, pickling things in kombucha. A lot, lot of that stuff is the most popular right now. So, I mean, of course, this is fun, all these crazy yeah, yeah, flavors, yeah, yeah, yeah. but mostly, I think that will sell in the future. Is this artisanal and very importantly is the story behind every bottle? Oh yeah. The, the many are, have an artificial story. Like Old Brooklyn is not like an old. I don't think they're old old company. It's actually manufactured in the 80s, but it's actually made to look as it's something from the old. I mean, old Manhattan. You okay. Know, early, yeah. early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the real, yeah, it's like the, the same, the same here. It's, that's just two years old. Okay. But the first celery is that was made was 150 years ago and that was very it's a very classical brand in New York and this is 1898 so they have uh, they, they um, were the first to, who manufactured espresso soda in the world oh, cool. they still do that and it's still the fa same family and you have all of I mean the, the most original brands that I would if I could like yeah. box them in yeah would be like very who are old and they have their own flavor and are really like they have their own stuff. I would say Manapa Special is one of those. Yeah. Um, we'll easily say also Boylan's of course, but it's it's very generic brand, but it's very old and it's very has a lot of story to it. Yeah. And Saranac is actually where my family's from, so that's uh -huh, very okay. in Utica, upstate New York. So that's a very old old brand, 1888. All right. And then also. One brand that's not American, Jolly Cola has a lot of history as well. What, where is Jolly Cola from then? Actually? Denmark. Oh, it's from Denmark. Oh, oh okay. It's, it's the when Coca Cola, when they start wholesaling Coca Cola, mostly it was produced to be sold in the cities. And I mean, there was this thing, and still in Sweden, when Cuba Cola, Cuba Cola was manufactured, they had maybe like they knew that because I think it was because Coca Cola w couldn't be sold. In, in Sweden yeah. and in Denmark because of the phosphoric acid because it wasn't legal then uh -huh. in, 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 but right. because it, it was 
fairly new you yeah, know, yeah. for us. But then uh, they knew it would be become legal, so they had like a very short time to actually. Is, I mean, Produ they, produce yeah, they, they said, "Oh, we should do a cola." We uh. have because we would be the first in the market. And Coca Cola uh. they just called some German syrup manufacturer and said, "Can you make cola in one week?" And they just sent the first the first batch they sent. They produced, so it wasn't a good cola. It's okay, same, uh -huh. I think it's the same with Jolly and Frem. All right, yeah. and they took over like. All of the cola market were primarily till, till the 80s were Jolly Cola oh due yeah. to the they had the advantage of like they had manufacturers and all the wholesalers in the on the on the uh, you know the outside on the outskirts mm -hmm. and the, and the and what's called like outside the small towns and stuff yeah so then in the 90s it turned and Coca Cola have taken over Denmark but now it's I think there's still five percent of the whole drink sales in, right. in Denmark the, the cola uh -huh, okay. so that's pretty much I mean that's pretty much for yeah, being it like like it's like a small brand yeah. I mean, not a small brand but it's kind of a small brand compared to smallish to, uh, to Coca-Cola oh. um, all right yeah. so what is your favorite or favorites right now it's grocers yeah then Manhattan special yeah then I like uh, we have this new jasmine tea with Bruce Coast okay and favorite root beer is Saranac and this their black cherry cream is also really good okay that's the four really good what I like yeah then there's also g g general uh, accepted sodas I would say like your which is sort of generally uh, Popular. That yeah. would be Caritos, yeah. the Leninade that we usually have, yeah, 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 but yeah. it's all out. Uh, okay. Then we have maybe... A Are they gonna let, like release a uh, different flavor? No, they no. have done the same yes, since the same. 95, oh, okay. so I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, no. I wouldn't keep my hopes up. All right. But uh, I think those two and our own, our own sodas are yeah. one of the most popular right now. And that's about it. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. thank you man. Thank you. Yeah, Celio, what, what is good the video going to be called? Trying different sodas. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, crazy testing different sodas at Soda Nation. And we will see what's, which day this will be. And it will be like continuing uh, every, every week. week. So, uh, once a week, I will try one soda or two. Alright, so guys, are we uh, done? Yes. Yes. So, let's yes. say, so then let's say something. Uh, peace, peace out from, from Sweden! Sweden.